There's the old flower stalls we've seen once before. I've filmed in Brookswab before, but uh, they're just dismantling the artificial Christmas tree, it being already February. We just got round to it. And there's the old central part of the old market. Some of it's over there. We've walked around this before. If you want to see the Wrocław film, then look up Wrocław, W-R-O-C-L-A-W, and use net posts. You can look for any of my films, which cover quite a lot of the world. About 20 countries at least are already filmed. Probably about 40, 50 cities, um, amongst other things. Always you can add use net posts and the name of the city that you can remember that I filmed, you want to find it again or, the, or something from my film, usually they'll come up on search. Also you can search for a number of my things on, uh, on the Google Earth because I always link them into the place where they're taken. There's Alexandra Fredro. Fredro was a, a witness to the desecration or desiccation or decimation, one of those words will do, of the Grande Armée coming back from Russia. He was out there with it. He's also a Polish poet and literature provider um, with some children's literature as well, some children's poetry to his name. One of the characteristics of the Polish poet is that uh, they weren't shy of also producing children's stuff. You've got people like Tuvim who is a recognised poet for adults and Brzechwa who also did poems for children at the same time. So uh, there's not all that many that I can think of that fulfil that category in the in English literature, although there are some. Maybe you can think of Swift. But Gulliver's Travels wasn't really intended to be a children's book. And as far as Defoe is concerned, Robinson Crusoe wasn't really intended to be a children's book. And it's usually simplified versions of these books which are offered up to children to read. Um, if you read them in the full version as an adult, you can find a lot more depth to them. Same with Pilgrim's Progress. Usually if someone's full work is usually aimed at the infant audience, as it were, that's usually where they stay. Richmond Crompton with all the, the William books and Enid Blyton with all the things she did. These people have stayed firmly in the market for children's literature. It's interesting... Mind. Um, it's interesting to know where J.K. Rowling will go from here, whether she'll stay doing the same kind of teenage market or whether she'll move up into more, um, well, into the adult, if you like, market, because quite frankly, most of her readers are already past their teens anyway, because she's produced books which almost everybody's read. But we'll see. Not exactly sure whereabouts in this they're uh, walking to, but uh, we'll see in a minute. 
Sphinx, Best Food by Tom Moulton. As I think I've said before, Tom Moulton doesn't exist. If the real Tom Moulton exists, can he please stand up and post a comment below to prove that I'm wrong? I'm saying that Tom Moulton is a fictional character and that Best Food by Tom Moulton is just uh, a ruse to make people think it's an American restaurant when it isn't. It's crazy really. Where are we going Adam? What's it called? Sushi bar. Sushi bar? That's, that's down here isn't it? Well you can ask the taxi driver. Sushi bar did you say? He wants to eat sushi. Very good. Very good. That sounds about right actually. Uh, uh, the one thing is, did he choose that? Because it's usually very crowded in there, I know that much. Okay. So? Moment, ja nie mam, ja nie mam włączonego tego, więc nie wiem gdzie jest południe. Mam włączyć? Ja mogę włączyć, jeżeli chcesz. I've got my faithful GPS with me. I can always put it on and find out where we are. Well, I'm not exactly sure about this anyway. It doesn't seem to be very clear. It's as clear as mud, this map. But I think that that... To jest zgodny. To jest zgodny, moim zdaniem, zgodnie z tym. Moim zdaniem... Południowa. Południowa. No, jeżeli to jest wschód, to musi być to południowa. We're going down to the south this way. It's back where we came. If they'd have asked me earlier, I'd have told them. Right. That's a 10 euro hostel. So if you want to come and stay in there for 10 euros, then you can. Okay, so we're on Owaska 9. What should we see here on Owaska 9 in Wrocław? What could there possibly be here but the best consulting company in the world? So if you're in Owaska, we hope we can get in because it's after hours. Lovely, 
Hawaska Prestige, a lovely building. Thank you. Tak. Mam nadzieję, że on nie miał nic przeciwko temu, że, że miał wyjść z restauracji, ale ładnie, że wyszedł, ładnie, że przypomniałeś jemu o tym, bo tak naprawdę ja nie trawię papierosów. Nikt ich nie trawi, tylko dyszą ich przez swój nos i, i, i usty. To do, do płuc zamiast do tego. It's very dark. Is this the way? Oh, the lights come on. Oh, it's like a little atrium. Oh, the moon, I can see the moon through the roof. What? Is, have, we got our, have we got our lovely plaque up? What's this? Somebody's put a pizza, pizza advert over our plaque. That's Obraza Majestetu. Can we have the light on it, please? That's it. Not with a pizza. What do they think they're doing? Pizzeria Etna. No way. Oh, that wasn't up last time I came here. Some interesting... Oh, look! It's your... It's your auntie. No, uncle? Znaczy nie, to jest, to nie jest uncle, to jest jego ojciec, malarz. There we go. Mojego ojca... Your own uncle did this. Ale to następny to właśnie. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So we've got a, bal a balcony there then. Nice. Some of our certificates on the wall here. There's the father of modern Poland. And just to prove that we're in Wrocław, there's our, there's our lovely brochure on the table for the meetings. There's Wrocław's map on the wall. Zooming into the centre. Here's the centre again. And here we are, Owawska. Owawska, a major city. And that's a major centre in, in the city. Oh, sorry, major central road in the city is what I meant to say. So it's lovely, isn't it? Lovely office. Yeah, good start for our penetration into this critical and historic city, once known as Breslau, and now and forever known as Rotsal. Yeah, let's go for a Let's go for an ice cream, a real one. It's nice, isn't it? So if you want to be looked after by a proper consulting company that, that can look after you in all of these different locations in Poland and deal with all the, all the disciplines you need, legal, accounting, audit, tax advice, real estate, computer systems, facilitation. Oh, well, because you can't really do it. It's not in colours, is it? It's not in blue and it's not in blue and, and orange. It's just black on gold. Like all of the golden plugs, they just got one colour on them. You couldn't really do the golden, the golden dot. Yeah, you've got to pretty much do it. It's black on gold. That's... Yeah, I mean, you've got to do it that way. You can't do anything about it. If it's black on gold, it's black on gold. So you've got to fit in with the whole ambiance of the centre. So, 
my dear watchers. 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 Dear listeners and, and viewers, if you want to. Jelenie. What? Jelenie oglądający. Aha. Dear, dear, dear. Dear viewers, Jelenie. If you want to buy anything from us, you'd be most welcome. <laughs> Lovely. Those are the brown lots. No. Dziękuję bardzo. So we're going back on the outside again. Awaska nicely. Oh. Huh? You can't really see it, can you? What, what floor are we on? Third floor? Third. It's over here. Yes, here we are. I think it's, I don't know, but it's not lit up at the moment. So, uh, but it's there. It's there. Owaska. Nine, number nine. Owaska Street. Do you remember that? If you come to Wrocław, you can come and visit and have some advice. Świecki ruch misyjny Epifania, sala nabożeństw, Epiphany. Interesting old bin. A little bit of the atmosphere of Wrocław while we're about it. Here's a here's a here's a piggy bank, the biggest piggy bank you've ever seen. By the time you filled that up with money, there's no, unfortunately there's no slot, or well, the slot's just drawn on rather than available, but uh, it's a ceramics firm called Visa, or Dom Handlovy Magdalena or something like that, it's in there, it's in that last month sort of arrangement. These are tram lines, we saw a tram come down here a while back, but it's there's no tram at the moment back into the old town square again oh korean any koreans watching you can tell me what that means well i know what it means because i've got it in other languages Kantora. it's an exchange bureau Whenever I start filming, I can't keep up with my colleagues because I'm too busy looking for things to film and talk about. They've got used to me by now. So it's just a stone's throw away. I haven't turned off the machine. I'm just carrying on walking with it from our office. You can see how close we are to the very centre, there's the old town hall again and the old market square again. That's how close we are to the city centre, the tourist area, if you like, of Wrocław. If you want real estate found for you in Wrocław, we're the people to do it.
now we're going into the tutti frutti, the tutti frutti Cukiernia i Kawiarnie, Izba Romańska, a Roman chamber with uh, ice cream. It's got even Roman letters up on it. My glasses have messed it up, I can't see if I'm filming properly or not. Right, we'll have something to eat here then. Anyway, we're now on Ulitsa Kilbasnicha. Um, as you can see, although it's the middle of February, not quite the middle actually, what is it today? It's the 5th of February, but they've still got the Christmas decorations up in, in force. And this is Dwór Polski, the Polish court. This is where... We go upstairs and we spit. Oh, doesn't that make you proud to be English? Blasphemy, spitting, I don't know. Doesn't it make you proud to be English? To see that lovely multicultural mass there. People from all races, colours and creeds. Even the guy with the turban on his head having a good old laugh. The people spitting down as they drink from the balcony on unsuspecting people. <sighs> Isn't that lovely? Tony Blair's Britain being touted around in this beautiful Brotswab just because they think they can afford it. Okay, this is Dvor Polski. Tak. No, już mam swój klucz. Dziękuję bardzo. Interesting panel affairs on the staircase, which is also quite nice stone work. I don't know what this is exactly, which stone it is. Signal of Rotswab. Oh, I've seen that Lucas talker in my pocket is telling me that we've lost the signal. Which means it's come on unwittingly in my pocket. Which is not what I planned. Rooms number 110 to 116 are this way. Polsky. I'm not sure exactly how much we paid for it because I didn't pay. It's my good friend and boss who paid for this. I'm not sure how much he's shelled out for it. But uh, it's probably good value for money because that's probably why he chose it. That's interesting, isn't it? The uh, electricity warning thing on there, on there, but it's all blended in there anyway into the background. And the end of a corridor that reminds me of that hotel in Ipswich in the Pickwick papers, so long and winding. Finally come to my room. Hope I don't go into the wrong room like Mr. Pickwick did. Have a kind of altercation with somebody. But I shouldn't. Oh, I knocked into another door. Oh, and I can't get the key out. Where? What's going on? Okay. It's interesting just to film and end up in different places. You film how you come in and go out and things like that. That's quite interesting, filming how you come in and how you go out. It's quite interesting. The psalmist says that the Lord will watch over thy comings in and goings out even forever. So it's quite interesting to film how you come in and go out.
You can zoom with the creative fade though, you need this good. Like that. Again. So, old style kind of panelling with wood. I'm going to sleep there, hopefully. The computer out because I'm going to make a film. Render onto Caesar um, before I sleep then listen to some radio on the internet if I can get a good enough bandwidth on my mobile connection so there it is Hotel de Vorpolsky there's a nice valance or whatever you'd call it over the uh, over the bed what else is there worth showing you? A mini bar in the corner there. So actually it's interesting when you come into one of these places, I don't know what that is. Three hussars or something, I don't know. But it's a three wise men, I don't know. You come into a place like this, okay, there's me coming in, yeah. First thing you see is a little note on the over the mirror and it's telling you the checkout time. And you think to yourself, Whoa, I only just got here and they already want me to leave. You know, think a little bit, hospitality providers. You know what people might the effect that people might have or the what your words the effect that they might have it's not very welcoming is it the first thing you see when you come in is telling people when they should leave by you know think a little bit about that and uh you know obviously people want to know that information they can look it up they don't have to have it forced under their nose it's not very friendly we all we are your paying guests and Let's face it, it's a recession. You're still charging pre-recession prices. At least we need you to put yourselves out a little bit more to earn that money, okay? Because there's going to be more and more, less business going on, more voids. You need the people that are still coming to hotels. You need us, okay? So no shoving the checkout time under our nose the minute we get in through the door. All right, that having been said, I don't think I've got any, any more material in my head for this film maybe have a look at this mechanism here strange kind of wobbly light that sort of wobbles backwards and forwards on this on this kind of strange hinge here none too clear oh here's the here's the thing that switches it on um, I'll leave it on for now because I'll need it for reading. What am I reading at the moment? That's a, that's something that we can talk about, isn't it? Uh, I read Zamoyski's earlier book on 1812, and so this is the, the sequel. Again, 600 pages thick. Um, Adam Zamoyski writes a piece, The Fall of Napoleon and the Congress of Vienna, where outstanding, a delicious triumphant feast of a book is the comment given by Simon Seabag Montefiore. Simon Seabag Montefiore, who's famous because I remember his name being mentioned before, although I don't know in what context, um, has said that it's an outstanding, delicious, triumphant feast of a book. So I'm looking forward to triumphantly feasting upon Adam Zamoyski a second time. I've also got other history books. I'm really getting into this early 19th century history. It's very interesting. It really grabs you. And so I recommend um, all of these books, even though I haven't read this one yet, so I don't have the right to really recommend it. But uh, it's shaping up. I read the first couple of chapters. It's shaping up to be the same kind of page turner as the first one that I read by him was. So uh, look out for this one too. Okay, that's it. It's morning in Wrocław. Not many people on the street and I'm going to get my car. Interesting machines they have here for parking. It's morning in Wrocław. And uh, unfortunately there wasn't a car park very near the hotel. So I've left my colleagues behind eating the rest of their breakfast. And uh, I'm going to get the car and bring it round because otherwise we've all got to walk this half a mile with two bags each which is not as good as 
leaving the bags behind and just strolling it along myself while they look after the bags. So here we see this rather lovely church. Not even sure what that one's called, I've not really time to look. But, uh, Trying to work out how to get back into the uh, into the car park. Anyway, just a slice of it in the light so that you can see that I sometimes I sometimes uh, film in the light as well. Bratislava Centre. A a version of the Latin name, obviously with Polish spelling at the beginning, and the Sofitel, which is the people who have this car park of the Sofitel. So I have to find the place now to pay the exorbitant price for parking my car here overnight. But thankfully my boss has already given me cash for it because he's a generous man. Interesting concourse. Right, this is the underground car park, which is labyrinthine. I've already been looking for my car for a while. Oh, here we go. Oh, I've got knocked over by that. And the thing is, it's all very tight down here. It was very tight turning into and out of these um, ramps that change floors. I have to pay attention as I drive out. There's the market square again. And the church. An old the Guinness pub at the corner. Delicatessen shop here, connected with the hotel. Matches back from his smoke. Had him around. It's a lovely morning. It's not too cold, is it? What would you say the temperature was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, temperatura? Minus jeden. Minus jeden, okay. Maybe next to the gym, no, yes, I need to use when you have no, no wind. Nice gables up on the top of the, uh, on the top of that. Okay. Here's our podium on the spot. Can you read some stuff? Can you film me? Right now, I'm filming the as we drive out northwards, out of Wrocław. It's quite a lovely morning very bright and here we've got different things to uh, Warsaw, we've got different coloured buses, trams are a completely different make, there's a Skoda, Skoda make the tram that you're about to see coming down the middle there, no but, oh no it's not one, it's not one of the new Skoda ones, but uh, I saw a new Skoda one yesterday, it was really quite impressive. Czy będziemy musieli o, o wyjechać chyba na pomysł w jakim pojedziemy przez ciągle wody. No to jeżeli te adekwatnie szybko, szybko wyjeżdżamy, ale to jest po prostu na, nadawane na to dwa razy tyle metrażu i nie mogę używać e, tego e, autostrady wtedy. W sumie, jeżeli ty chcesz jechać przez Ciąstochowę, to bardzo proszę, dam ci klucze i sam zjedziesz. Nie, ja, ja będę siedział, gdzie ty siedzisz, z taką małą różnicą, że ja ładnie śpię w samochodzie. Ja dojadę do, do Warszawy wypoczętą, 
wypoczętym. Kościół rzymski, rzymski jest ci wdzięczna, tak? Okay. Well, the light's too good to miss out on filming this a little bit, so... Jak, jak się nazywał ten miejsce? Koźmin Wielkopolski? It's Koźmin Wielkopolski. Nice old... It's a rather interesting architecture on one or two buildings. I missed the main square, I didn't get my... I didn't get my camera out on time, although that was really a treat. We've still got a few of the old older houses at the end of it, so I'll try and remember to, to record the next time we get a nice village. Going up from Krotoszyn towards Jarocin, in what's known as Greater Poland. something valley cool or something like that I didn't get it this is Jarocin jedno po drugie i jedno pojedyncze losowanie losowanie już za kilka minut radzę nie tracić okazji i wysłać jeszcze sms na numer 71 35 71 35 hasło bilety ale kolejka 71 35 hasło bilety reklama Spraw sobie wyjątkowy prezent w nowym roku. W Casa Verona nie potrzebujesz milionowego kredytu, by zamieszkać w luksusowym apartamentu w Sus basenem. Odkryj Italię w sercu Poznania. Do końca lutego Verona Building oferuje ostatnie apartamenty w promocyjnej cenie 7000 zł netto za metr kwadratowy. Nie przegap okazji i staj się właścicielem jednego z nich. Aby uzyskać to jest stan surowy? Napisz na adres e-mail infomałpa Casa Verona. 7000. Złotych za metr. Do samochód roku 2009. Opel Insignia. Jedna premiera. 6 dni lutego. Talona Hopla. Wojkowski. Twój dzielę Opla zaprasza. W sadzie koło Poznania. Kierunek Tarnowo Pozwólne. Telefon 061 89 62 210. Myślisz o zmianie wystroju okna? Fachowo Ci w tym pomożemy. Znajdziesz u nas duży wybór firanek, materiałów zasłonowych, garniszy i dodatków. Klep Alma. Poznań Kraszowskiego 17. Kupione u nas firanki o przewamy gratis. Alma. 
Czas, proszę Państwa, to jedno, jedyne zaproszenie otrzymaliśmy w prezencie od eurodeputowanego Marka Siwca, który zwyczajnie nie może wybrać się na niedzielny koncert Christiana Zimmermana i postanowił ofiarować to zaproszenie słuchaczom Radia Merkury Poznań. Kto otrzymał to pojedyncze zaproszenie? Nie mam pojęcia, ale spróbujemy uruchomić ten program głosujący. Mam nadzieję, że ta osoba odbierze telefon, a jeśli nie, to bardzo mi przykro. Jeśli usłyszymy pocztę systemu, poczty głosowej jakiejkolwiek tutaj za chwilę, no to wtedy trzeba będzie wybierać ponownie. Ale mam nadzieję, że tak się nie stanie i że za moment ktoś odezwie się tam po drugiej stronie, a ja będę miał tę radość poinformowania słuchaczki lub słuchacza, że otrzymał pojedyncze zaproszenie na koncert niedzielny Christiana Cimermana. Kto tam po drugiej stronie? Halo? Halo, dzień dobry. No tak, przecież ktoś tam musi być. Halo, halo, dzień dobry, tu Radio Merkury Poznań. Do kogo się dodzwoniłem? Nikogo tam nie ma? Na pewno Porażka. nie chce pani i pan biletu na koncert Christiana Zimmermana? No skoro nie, to przykro mi. Wybieram dalej i gramy ładne piosenki. To on tylko dzwonił byle gdy, byle do kogo? Now we're on the motorway near Brzesznia and um, I wanted just to show this, I don't know if it will show up very well on the uh, on the film but it's the, it's a mackerel sky as they say that's what they call that kind of sky, it's a mackerel sky this one's even mackerel shaped that's all quite interesting. Nice looking. I don't know if it'll show up very well on the on the film or not. But that's what we've got. We're in Wowicz. That's Galeria Wowicka, which is a little shopping centre that they put here, not far off the Central Market. Uh, we're on our way back to Warsaw, but we weren't going to make it in time for Mass. And so my dear friends my, and colleagues wanted to go to Mass, so to stop in in Wawicz. And uh, this is the the Church of the Holy Spirit uh, Paraphia. What's the word for the parish of? Um, of the Roman Catholic Church in Wawicz. It's not the cathedral, but they seem to want it to come here because one of them seemed to think it was the cathedral, but uh, I don't think it is the cathedral. Anyway, have a look inside.
Okay, well I've come to the public toilet in the shopping centre Galeria Wawietska, Wawietska rather. And um, well, it's a normal public toilet, the people do come in here with their muddy boots on. But quite interestingly, they've got this sign up which says if you sit, if you put, if you um, stand on the, the toilet seat in your shoes, yeah, uh, you could be penalised by the cutting of your jugular vein. So um, basically that's uh, a humorous uh, request to people not to not to go with their shoes onto the toilet seat. People often do if they want to avoid sitting on the seat. Um, obviously the toilet seat's been broken many times because that people have had enough of it.